Hello everyone, it's Steve, the Nortel guy. I'm going to talk about the difference between the uh, major uh, connectors that are used in voice communications and also data communications. Um, so what you're looking at right here is two patch cords, um, or data cords or line cords. They go by different terms. And one is an RJ11 and one is an RJ45. So let's talk about the, the biggest one and we'll work our way down. So this guy right here is what we call an RJ45. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus here. And um, an RJ45 is about one centimeter across, and it typically, let's see if I can get this to focus for you better. It typically has eight pins, eight gold pins across the front, see that? Okay, these were primarily used for computer connections, for Ethernet connections. Um, although today they're being more used for different things, like uh, sometimes used to connect phones. Like for instance, that uh, Avaya phone over there, um, it uses an RJ45 uh, um, to connect it to the wall because it's a voice over IP phone. Okay, so that's an RJ45. And RJ45 connectors or, or plugs usually go into... RJ45 um, wall outlets. All right, so this is this is actually like a like a patch panel, but you would also see these kind of uh, connectors um, on a wall plate. All right, here's an example of like what little inserts look like on the wall plates. And one of the things you'll see, do you see how it says Cat5 or Cat5e? You might see, or even now we're seeing Cat6. So if you see that, you see how there's eight of those little gold pins in there. Okay, eight gold pins there. Eight cold pins here, usually for data connections, but now sometimes being used for phone connections, especially when the phone connection is a voice over IP uh, type of phone. We'll talk about voice over IP in a different video. Okay, more traditionally, and even still widely used today, is what's known as the RJ11. And the RJ11 is slightly smaller than the RJ45. And the RJ11 can either have six or four or even two of those little gold pins there on the top. All right, so the, the, the connector for an RJ11 will always be the same size in terms of its width, but the number of gold pins you see there might change. It might be six, it might be four, it might be two. All right, actually today most phone, most phone connections... Um, are generally going to only need two pins, even though there may be four or six. They, everything pretty much just uses two two wires anymore. Okay, so that's RJ11. RJ11 plugs into RJ11 jacks. See, only six pins in there. No Cat5 label on the front. All right. Now you will sometimes plug an RJ11 into an RJ45. It's not the best practice, but it does work. The reason I say it's not the best practice is because what happens is a lot of times there's wiggle room in there. And so sometimes you don't get a very solid connection when an when a RJ11 is plugged into an RJ45. It does fit. There's no, no doubt about it. It's designed to go that way, but it doesn't always work very well because of the wiggle room it has. And sometimes the connection isn't always that great or comes loose. Okay. Lastly... And less commonly used for any kind of wall connection is what's known as an RJ22. Okay, that's RJ22. Almost always going to have four pins. It's yet skinnier than either an RJ45 or an RJ11. The most common use of RJ22 is on these little curly cords like this that are used to connect into the back of the, uh, the bottom of a handset. Okay, which also then connects to the bottom of the phone. So the bottom of the phone, typically you've got the spot where the little curly cord goes. That's usually the RJ22. Okay? So, the reason I bothered to tell you about RJ11, RJ45, and RJ22 is that as I make other videos talking about newer technologies, you're going to hear me use those words like, you know, RJ45. You'll probably hear me talk about RJ45 a lot. Because I think that in general the RJ11, which is the, the smaller guy here, uh, RJ11 is going to go away. I think probably another 
oh, I don't know, probably by the end of this decade, we'll probably see a lot less RJ11, and everything will probably just be, at that point, RJ45. In fact, I'm almost willing to venture that by the end of the decade, we might just be all wireless, except for server room applications. Okay, so that's RJ45, RJ11, and RJ22. Thanks for watching.